Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here at the Outdoor Kitchen and joining us again today, Jimmy Mork, the head brewmaster over there at the Spetzel Brewery. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me again, David. I uh, always look forward to coming here and cooking with you. Now, we have some delicious ingredients right in front of us and it smells like beer out here because we're cooking with it because that's what we're going to do. We got all these Shiner products behind us. Talk to me about the brewery, Jimmy. Do you guys have any live events happening in the fall? This is Oktoberfest season. The Oktoberfest beer is out, uh, getting ready to do a lot of events uh, coming up. Uh, at the brewery, again, we're always, we, we got our own little Oktoberfest we're having here uh, uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, again, uh, we're open seven days a week now, uh, especially on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, we got a little live music, a uh, little food trucks there, and we got some, some other new things coming up that people need to stay tuned. That's all I can say. Oh my gosh. All right, stay right here. Don't move. Let's check this out. We got Oktoberfest on ice back here. Here, we got to pop them open. All right, cheers to you. Cheers. All right, and we got sausage right in front of us. I'm excited, this is a good day. This is a very good day. <laughs> And so the first thing you want to do to get this recipe going, you want to get a little saucepan and you want to put some beer in there. I put about three cans, onions, and your favorite seasoning. We're using some spicy chimichurri seasoning inside there. And you want to let this come to a boil. Now, you want to get your beer brats, but here's the thing. Beer brats can come like this. Here, hold that for me, Jimmy. They can come like this. Now, this is like a cheat code. It already has kind of the beer flavor, the essence in there. You can get it from the store. It is a nice product, but you can get the regular brats and you can make it yourself. It has so much more flavor. Plus, you get to use your own beer, which we're using Schneiderbach today. So you put them in there. As it's boiling, all that flavor is locking into that brat, and it's just juicing it up. You know, you want to get all of those onions in there, all that seasoning. We're using that chimichurri. And then once they get a little gray looking, and they're getting nice and plump, you just pull them right out. Put the skewers on them, and you're going to put them right onto a hot grill. And you're looking for some grill marks, I mean, they're already boiled, so you don't have to really cook them too much. Now the veggie mix, poblanos, red, yellow, and you got a little bit of orange bell pepper in there, onions. I even found this little mix at the store, parsley, garlic, a little bit of mushroom in there as well, and red onion. And then you just let that kind of saute off to the side. You can let that little bit of butter, a little bit of salt in there. You want that all to kind of reduce, get a nice caramelized color on there. And that's what you're gonna throw on top of the cheese. Let that finish and oh my goodness, you have this product right here. And it's so good. Very simple and it smells incredible and it's a crowd pleaser. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Jimmy, so I'm gonna cut you a piece there, okay? But we're gonna go straight down the middle and check this out, y'all. Look how beautiful that is on the inside. Oh my gosh. That's what's up. Look how cheesy and perfect that is. All right, Jimmy, grab your piece. Oh. <laughs> oh, you oh, won. I, I think that's I like the, the wishbone. Cheese. Yeah. I got the cheese. <laughs> it's like the wishbone. Cheers, Cheers to you. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh, my goodness. I'm going for two. Lots of lots of flavor on there. That Shiner beer, all that alcohol, it gets cooked out, but you're keeping all that flavor. It just gets locked in. You add the onion in there, that little bit of chimichurri that we use. Phenomenal flavors. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tastes like more. You want another one? I want another one. This is a really easy recipe to do. To get more information on how you can do this at home, be a rock star, make it for your family, follow the link on the screen. Did you win the cheese again? I, well, man, you won the cheese again. All right, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. Wow. You're going to make this every day. That's really good. 